The Canadian wilderness echoes with the presence of a majestic creature, the moose. Towering above the undergrowth with their imposing antlers and long legs, moose are a symbol of Canada's untamed beauty. They are the largest members of the deer family inhabiting the forests and wetlands across this vast country. Their presence evokes a sense of awe and wonder, reminding us of the wild spirit that still thrives in these northern landscapes. Moose are intrinsically linked to the Canadian identity, their image gracing everything from stamps to coffee mugs. They are a source of national pride, embodying the strength and resilience of the Canadian spirit. But beyond their symbolic importance, moose are fascinating creatures with complex lives and an essential role to play in the delicate balance of their ecosystem. Let us delve into the world of these gentle giants, exploring their habitat, behavior, and the importance of ensuring their survival for generations to come. Step into the heart of Canada's boreal forests, where towering conifers cast long shadows across the forest floor. Here, amidst the scent of pine needles and damp earth, is where the moose feels most at home. These vast forests stretching across the country provide the perfect sanctuary for these solitary creatures. Moose are particularly fond of wetlands, those areas where land and water intertwine to create a rich tapestry of life. Swamps, marshes, and the edges of lakes and rivers are all prime moose habitat. These areas provide an abundance of aquatic plants, a vital part of the moose's diet. The presence of water is crucial for moose, not only for drinking, but also for regulating their body temperature. During the heat of summer, moose will often submerge themselves in cool water to escape biting insects and find respite from the sun. These wetlands are not just a source of food and water for moose, but also a place of refuge and tranquility. Moose are generally solitary creatures, preferring to roam the forests and wetlands alone or in small family groups. They are most active at dawn and dusk, their massive forms moving silently through the undergrowth. Despite their size, moose are surprisingly agile and can move with surprising speed when necessary. During the fall, the tranquility of the moose's world is shattered by the arrival of the rut. Bull moose engage in fierce battles for dominance and the right to mate. Once the rut ends, calm returns to the moose's world. Despite their imposing size and formidable antlers, moose are gentle giants, their diet consisting entirely of plants. They are herbivores, which means they get all their nutrients from the vegetation. Their long legs and elongated snouts allow them to reach high into trees to browse on leaves and twigs. Aquatic plants are another important part of the moose's diet particularly during the summer months. Moose will wade into lakes and rivers, submerging their heads for up to a minute at a time to graze on water, lilies, pondweed, and other submerged vegetation. This underwater foraging provides them with essential minerals and nutrients not found in terrestrial plants. Moose are ruminants like cows and sheep which means they have a four-chambered stomach that allows them to digest tough plant material efficiently. They will often regurgitate partially digested food, known as cud, and chew it again to further break down the fibers. This efficient digestive system enables them to extract the maximum amount of nutrients from their plant-based diet. Section 5. Moose Calves. Adorable Beginnings. Spring brings new life to the Canadian wilderness. 
and for moose, it's the time for calves to be born. These adorable youngsters, weighing around 30 pounds at birth, are wobbly on their feet but quickly gain their footing. They rely entirely on their mothers for nourishment and protection. The mother is fiercely protective of her young, keeping a watchful eye out for any signs of danger. Section 6, Built for the Wild Adaptations of the Moose Moose are perfectly adapted to their environment with a suite of physical and behavioral adaptations that allow them to thrive in the harsh conditions of the Canadian wilderness. Their massive size, with bulls weighing up to 1,800 pounds, provides insulation against the cold and makes them a formidable opponent for any potential predator. Their long legs, with powerful muscles and large hooves, allow them to navigate through deep snow and marshy terrain with ease. Their hooves are also splayed, which helps to distribute their weight and prevent them from sinking into soft ground. They are strong swimmers, able to cross lakes and rivers with ease. Their head held high above the water. Their senses are also highly developed, with keen hearing and a keen sense of smell, which helps them to detect predators and find food. Their eyesight, while not as sharp as their other senses, is still adequate for navigating through the forest and detecting movement. Section 7, Moose versus Man, Sharing the Landscape As human populations expand and development encroaches further into the wilderness, interactions between moose and humans are becoming increasingly common. While moose are generally not aggressive animals, they can become unpredictable if they feel threatened or if their young are in danger. One of the most significant areas of conflict between moose and humans is on roads. Moose are often drawn to roadsides to lick salt, which they need in their diet. This can lead to collisions with vehicles which can be fatal for both the moose and the occupants of the vehicle. It is essential for humans to be aware of their surroundings and to take precautions to avoid conflicts with moose, driving slowly, especially at dawn and dusk when moose are most active, and being extra cautious in areas where moose are known to frequent can help to prevent accidents. It is also important to give moose a wide berth if encountered on foot and to never approach or attempt to feed them. Section 8, Guardians of the Forest, the moose's role in the ecosystem. Moose play a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of their ecosystem. As herbivores, they are a key link in the food chain consuming vast quantities of vegetation and helping to control plant populations. Their browsing habits can influence forest regeneration, creating openings for new growth and promoting plant diversity. Their droppings, rich in nutrients, fertilize the soil and contribute to the overall productivity of the forest. When moose die, their carcasses provide a feast for scavengers, returning valuable nutrients to the ecosystem. Even their antlers shed each year provide a, a source of calcium and other minerals for small animals. Their presence also has a ripple effect on other species. For example, wolves, the main natural predator of moose, help to keep moose populations in check and prevent overgrazing. This delicate balance between predator and prey is essential for a healthy ecosystem. Section 9, a future for the moose. Conservation and coexistence. The future of the moose depends on our ability to coexist and protect their wild spaces. Habitat loss due to deforestation and human activities threatens moose populations. Climate change alters plant growth and increases wildfires, impacting moose habitat, 
conservation efforts are crucial for their survival. Public education can reduce human wildlife conflicts and foster appreciation. By working together, we can ensure future generations experience the awe of moose in the wild. These gentle giants deserve our respect and protection.